So tell us your name. My name is Cesar Castro. Okay, Cesar. So what are we doing today? Today we're going to polish concrete. Polish concrete? Why is that important? It is important for two main reasons. One is to increase the light of the location where the concrete is laid. Oh wow, okay. That sounds good. Well, and the next is to control the dust. Oh, okay. And polished concrete generates a lot of dust in the process of everyday usage and wear. Great. All right, so when are we getting started? We're going to start right now. Follow me. Oh wow, okay. All right, let's go. Today we are polishing concrete. We are on step number one. We are using the red diamond pad. Here we're gonna do about 10 passes and then we're gonna keep moving and we're gonna be overlapping about two inches on every pass. This is step one. Immediately after you use the red diamond pad on our first step, you picked up the uh, water with a wet and dry vacuum. We are using the Typhoon to pick up the water solution. Immediately after we finish scrubbing the concrete floor with the Ray Diamond Pad, we must rinse the pad immediately. This is one of the most important steps to preserve the life of the pad. Submerge it in water. And as you can see on the water, on the bucket, most of the dirt is off the pad. However, leave this pad on water and later take the pad and rinse it with water. Make sure that all the dirt is off the pad so you can reuse the pad later. If you do not do this, you are going to have to use a new pad because this pad will be impregnated with dirt and the dirt will not let the diamonds do the work. Most important, rinse the pad with water immediately, especially the red diamond part. The next step to make sure that we have the concrete floor completely clean, that we remove all the residue, we're going to scrub the floor using an auto scrubber and just water. We're going to scrub the floor the best we can, removing all the residue, and thereafter, we're going to apply ultra densifier to this floor. after you finish applying the densifier, you can take the pad off the applicator. Always have a plastic bag with you so you can put the pad on the bag. By having the pad on a plastic bag, this will preserve the pad. It will not dry. So you can later use it again or you can rinse it. So now, let's see what we've done so far. We have used the red diamond pad, 400 grit, to polish the concrete first step. We cut into the concrete, then later we rinse with water to remove any residue, and then we apply ultra-densifier to the floor. 
So now we're almost ready for the next step. Second step after the densifier is to use the white diamond pad. The white diamond pad is 800 grit. The red is 400. Now we're doing 800. And we're gonna go on the same surface evenly 10 times in a slow motion with plenty of water. Then we move into the yellow pad. The yellow pad is a 1500 grit and we do 10 passes. Thereafter, we do the green pad. That is a 3000 grit. We do 10 passes. Thereafter, we go ahead and do green pad again, but this time we use a burnisher and we use the green pad dry. After that, we accomplish our goal of polishing the concrete. We can generally take the concrete from a gloss level of under 10 to a glow level in up to the 70s. This process is done by consistently polishing the floor using the diamond pads and the ultra densifier for concrete floors.